it's mentally taxing, it's emotionally taxing. There's a lot more to it than just grinding away and working hard in the gym. Balancing your lifestyle and making sure I have the right people around me. My name's David Nika, I'm 19 years old. I compete as an amateur boxer full time. In 2014, it was probably my biggest success, uh, winning a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Other than that, I've won four national titles, um, four Golden Glove titles, and been overseas a bunch of times. <laughs> I've been boxing since I was 14 years old, so for the last five years, I've really just been honing my craft um, and trying to be the, the best, best boxer and best athlete I can be. To get to where I am today, it's basically been about uh, making necessary sacrifices. Um, I don't really know uh, a lot other than how to train and how to work hard and to get myself to where I need to be. Well, I think David's the sort of guy that will, if, if he focuses and he puts his energy into the areas he, he wants, he'll achieve. He's just that sort of athlete, really. And David, he doesn't miss, miss many things, you know, he's, he's continually uh, looking to improve himself. He's continually looking at ways to, to do things better. And that's what athletes are required to do. I've got um, a good family and a good backing from, from the community. When I do turn professional, I want my uh, professional debut to be at the Claudens Event Centre. I really want to pack that up. And I think uh, Hamilton's just a great place. It's got that family feel to it. As an amateur boxer, I don't get any prize money. I don't get any money from my actual boxing. I need you know, sponsors. A lot of people that have gotten behind me and decided that uh, I'm, I'm someone worth, um, worth backing. Some advice I'd give to the younger generation, make those necessary sacrifices. For me, I, I, can't, I can't go out and party as much as maybe I'd want to, um, but I understand that that's a big part of being an athlete and being a, um, a good person to the people around me. Uh, my goals and dreams uh, it has always been to win a Commonwealth gold medal, um, which I've, I've ticked, that, ticked that box off, uh, an Olympic gold medal, so that's still, still in the making, and then to turn professional and be a world champion. I kind of need to fulfil my life purpose and I'm not too sure what that is yet but I think boxing's um, going to open a lot of doors for me.